This is my binder. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Get it? Full metal jacket. Anybody? Hi everyone, my name is Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make a wedding planner binder. If you want to learn how to do it, keep on watching. First of all, congratulations you are now officially engaged i know that feeling all too well it is an amazing feeling you just feel like you're on top of the world so now that you're engaged you want to start planning as soon as you can start searching for everything that you want in the meantime take these first couple of weeks or even the first month to just wusa the moment and prepare yourself for war basically <laughs> so there are a couple of wedding planners already out there i first got this wedding planner book from amazon now this had a lot of great reviews and at the beginning i did really like it except i felt like i can't really customize it like i wanted to and on top of that i wasn't exactly sure on what i would be I don't know choosing for the bridesmaids for the flowers for the bouquets for the this and the that and da 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 and this only comes with this small little folder and I obviously had a lot of um, papers that I wanted to save and um, this just didn't do it for me but if you have just a, a if you're going to have just a simple ceremony maybe just like a barbecue type of um, reception then this is definitely something for you it is uh, something easy you could just write on and um, I'll probably recommend this if you have a small wedding now if you are like me where you started off with a small wedding but you ended up with a big wedding then this is the binder for you for this project you will need a binder you can choose whichever color that you want paper labels index dividers i prefer the clear ones and a protector a paper protective i honestly have not gone through this binder since the wedding so i'm just kind of reminiscing on everything right now one thing that i oh before i forget one thing that i did is first of all i got this binder in target uh you can find this in 99 cent stores school supplies type of thing it also depends on how much you're going to plan um i suggest how thick the binder is i got the thickest one that i can find because i'm very indecisive and i just needed to save a lot of things on here the other thing i was going to say is i also picked out my um purple this is the closest i got to lavender and my colors were lavender and gray by the way like a gray silver type those were our colors and so i tried to stay within the theme and even this little sign that i made on the computer just to summon ellie and then i put in the date of our wedding uh, this is just something so simple uh, this is not anything fancy so this is not I don't honestly think that you need something really fancy for your planning for this for your wedding so I mean that is completely up to you but I also got this again you can find this at a school supply or even just at a 99 cent store I got things here that I would need just you know your normal um, I have tiny scissors I have a tiny ruler um, post-it little uh, post-it sticker things I have some white out some paper clips um, what you call these things binder clips I got those and then in the other one again I kept it purple because that's just what I did I had on glue I had on more glue oh I remember I had on glue because whenever I will find the picture I will glue I will glue it on to just um, a paper here and I would just um, I would just put it in the binder pens and markers a red pen or whatever it is okay so this 
to put this in the front. Should probably give you guys another type of view. Okay, so this is what your binder should start looking like. Um, the cover over here. Okay, so I decided to just show you guys um, forward. Something so simple. Once you write, let me see, Sam, and I want to write and after you have Sam and Ellie, you can just quickly choose your font. You want to make it bigger. Do you want to make it script? I absolutely love script. It's something that you can just play around with. Um, this is really not the important part, but if you want to just go all out, you can just do that. Um, you can do just Simon Ellie and then the date like I did. Forget that thing. And you just print that out. Print it out and that's your cover. Your little supplies on here. I, I printed the calendar, like a whole calendar that, well I didn't print it, I got it from just a 99 cent store. I, I believe I taped these ends so that they don't loosen up. And then I wrote down whatever it is the plans were for every month. Also, if you think it's a huge hassle to print out these labels here, you can just simply um, just write them in honestly for the pen or a marker. Okay, so once you unword, you're going to where it says mail uh, mailings. Click on labels, and then this pops up on here where it says label. You're going to just click that, and you're going to click Avery U.S. Letter. See, there's a couple of options, such so as Avery U.S. Letter. And then choose whatever number it says on the back of the carton whenever you get the, the labels. So I'm just going to choose this, um, choosing anything. And well, you press OK. And then if you want a whole bunch, which is what you're going to use, um, click on your document. And then you get all this. And you just fill it up. For example, I can put on here um, venue. Right? And then go down, you see bridal party, bridal party. All right, so then you're just going to fill everything out um, with whatever it is that you picked for your category labels. You're going to just put this in the printer, the labels in the printer, and you just hit print here. And easy as that, basically it comes out. See? Try to put more work on the planning itself rather than um, anything else. You have to just choose where you put uh, your energy in um, and I think something like this is honestly um, not as important as it is for you to get everything to, together. Okay, so then these were my labels. My labels were calendar. Um, which um, as you can see I guess I started from January and I just would write down whatever it is that I need um, that's going to happen um, so that way I don't forget so this here is our um, I guess things that we needed to do this is a registration for the pre -cana. since I am Catholic he was not Catholic and so we had to we had to do the pre cana if you wanted to get um, married. Need to know because I I I don't I didn't know much about weddings um, or what's included in them. So then I would just print these out from Pinterest. Um, what I ha like I guess what to eat here. Um, how to print and prime. What, um, the license. This is just kind of like to do stuff um, as well and you know and and also the order in which the entrance for the church the ceremony um part was it's something that i was not aware of honestly 
and just a whole bunch of other stuff here so I would just um, print out the pictures I would see traditions on you know Ecuadorian traditions and Haitian traditions my husband is Haitian and I am Ecuadorian so I just wanted to make sure that I am respecting um, the traditions not preferably just what your family wants but just real on traditions if we wanted to follow this is the color theme that um that we chose the lavender which is one of my favorite colors well besides purple itself but the lavender and silver complement uh they just went along together this is my plans for the invitation cards on i wanted to see what i needed we got a stamp just for us as well and I just really like the way these were set out. We had two different uh, invitation cards. We had one for, for our people here in the United States and then we had a different one for, um, for Ecuador. And this is basically just, um, just a plan out of what the invitation would say. Again, this is invitation stuff. These were just um, ideas that I wanted to include. Now this is, to me, the most fun part, which is the bridesmaid stuff. So this is how everything started. Um, I had exactly this. We made shots for them, little shot glasses. When we first asked them to be our um, bridesmaids, groomsmen, it's just they were something so cute and really personalized that we made um, and we went along with it and so this was my plan for bridesmaids which honestly the dress did not turn out 100% how I wanted it to because the lady, uh, we actually could not find this dress because this was a maid dress um, this is a picture we found on pin interest and so we had to ask um, a seamstress as well as just um, a dressmaker in Ecuador to do it and that was not the fun it was not a fun experience basically she gave us a lot of problems um, so yeah so these were just silver I sent a picture of, of, of all these things to my bridesmaids and I just told them to um, that I told them that I really didn't care what they wore under they just had to make sure that they were wearing silver so I even had the options here for for flats I was not one of those bright I, I feel maybe I should have been but um, I really was not the what the type of to be a bright I let them wear whatever made them comfortable besides just the dress itself after the reception began um, Pretty much, I told them you can just take off the dress and just wear whatever you want. Um, just be comfortable. And this was for my. Um, so in Ecuador, there's a, a thing called La Dama de, de, de Amor, and that was my uh, my sister-in-law. And this was um, pictures that I sent to her on what exactly I wanted for her to dress and what I wanted for her to do to do um the groomsmen this is something that my husband did for his um groomsmen we had the idea this was for the um the flower girl which was my my little cousin um a little puzzle and stuff that's how i, I asked her uh, i also had these for the ring bearer and um and the flower girl and we gave them like little ring pops and these were just things that I wanted for her to do I believe I went with this hairstyle or this one um, and it was that so it, pictures for me completely work because I need to show people that I work with um, pictures of exactly what I mean this was the ring bearer I went on with this but my little cousin was a little too hyper, so he just kept throwing things around. Um, we did the little security thing, and I printed a little badge for him. You know, he's um, he was security, like a ring security. And yeah, and then these were just um, pictures of what I wanted to in my wedding dress. There were many options, including even um, for a veil. 
um, the veils were all here um, I went with I forget what it's called uh, church venue or Catholic venue something it was a huge veil basically I forget what it's, it was called and then also um, well, let me cover this part because it has personal stuff um, I don't know if you can see but this is the veil that I went with it was completely long I am Ecuadorian as I keep mentioning and so I wanted something like this on my dress and I wasn't able to make it um, because a lot of my family did not agree with it and um, I honestly didn't have the time these were uh, perfumes that I got from Sephora samples that my brother and I I keep them because these little things they are really sentimental for me and I will always remember that you know he went with me to Sephora to get a bunch of perfumes and he would just write them and um, we had a really good time so I just keep those there I guess just for memory's sake and these uh, were just things from the for the groomsmen and you know on their shoes they definitely had these see the Haitian and the Ecuadorian cufflinks there um, I thought that was a really cute touch um, for the socks they did something special they didn't do this they did their complete own thing this here is the makeup artist that I wasn't sure about but I had as you can see one two and three four along with little posters on which uh, makeup artist to go with they're all from Ecuador and um, honestly this was one of my biggest biggest mistakes I was advised by my dad to not hire a makeup artist because I am a makeup artist myself and so he said um, who can do a better job than than you you know you know what you like you know uh, how you want your makeup done and it's something where I told them I know but I don't want to rush in time I want to just feel um, stress-free and so forth and honestly this was the biggest stress for me um, on the day of the wedding it was a big no-no I my husband and I almost didn't get married because of the makeup artist biggest mistake ever if you're a professional makeup artist just do it yourself and save the money that's it period um, this was also the same thing um, for the makeup artist and the hair I put on the list of um, to visit their websites and so forth biggest mistake as well because she worked I guess with the makeup artist they were not a great team although they did a good job but just uh, not completely um, great the food was not as good as the first time that we tried it when we chose a menu it the day of the wedding it honestly just sucked it was not good it didn't look good it was nowhere near as pretty as they presented it to us um, again these are just pictures of the place um, thank you to my brother that saved our booties because we didn't choose a venue up until the last minute um, the place was beautiful it was so beautiful I guess it's just the people that managed it that just weren't so great um, but it, the place itself it was really really nice and this is my plan for the venue um, just little things like that you know I wanted to just to have all these things so just make sure you print out everything 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 that you um, can think of um, just print it out see these are all like venue stuff for the bathroom this honestly didn't look as good as I wanted it to and I specified to the um, people in charge at the venue it it didn't look nowhere near as nice as I wanted it to be and um, you see these are all just pictures it's very important for you to have pictures um, this is something that I wanted for the DJ to, to do because the DJ took, uh, took care of the of the smoke um, which he did pretty much late this was supposed to be part of our dance routine and he completely slept on it he didn't um, give us any smoke um, and then the um, 
these fire little thingies I guess were um, not as great as I wanted to because then we needed another so for the next things you're gonna find just questions these are just so many questions that I had you know is, is the venue available that day what does it include with um, does it come with code checking and all those things make sure see they there are also websites that it says questions to ask a florist designer there's so many um websites that help you with planning your wedding just make sure that you have pictures and you have somewhere to to refer back and just say this, this i want this exactly this this was my bouquet which was not the same um uh, it, it was something was missing on it but it I specifically told them I wanted a short um, stem type of bouquet because I hate those really long ones that you just gotta just carry like that and that's exactly what was given to me it was those long stems I really wanted a short one but that's not something to sort of help um, the, this was for the flower wall and all these things um, that we wanted so as you can see this is labeled cocktails and drinks so these are just little cocktails that we wanted um, to do um, and since we wanted to just include a little bit of both our cultures um, we had the um, what's it called the cola cola locai uh, we obviously want we weren't able to bring all these things to Ecuador um, but we, we were able to bring some uh, cremas since I went a couple of months a little earlier um, to just check out the place and I just went with a bunch of um, Haitian um, cremas and I am so glad that we got to give it out on the cocktail hour along with these little things here I heard great things about co the cocktail hour except that it was um, freezing outside um, and although after I specified that it was freezing outside and you know to have um, they did tell me that they they were gonna have heaters I, I guess maybe that wasn't enough but um, these are just little things you know that because I thought the guests were going to be hungry um, then we had like you know little like orders and stuff uh, again questions to ask caterer then about the wedding cake so these are just pictures of the cake what exactly you want to um, or what are some ideas that you might want including you know the little the little taps that go um the tappers that go on top of the the cake so just i believe i went with kind of like this one something i did not know in ecuador is that do you believe this they do not make uh wedding cakes like this um they said they do but they they completely don't recommend it and they were completely against it and so what they did is they had us do a fake cake so our we never officially cut a our wedding cake because we didn't have any we think we just had a just a cake already done you know a simple simple cake that they i guess the servers would just cut in the back and then just serve it so we didn't have a real wedding cake to cut which is i believe we took a picture by a plastic wedding cake that they decorated this way um something that i actually made a big deal about but um that's in the past now see so this is the cremas these are little things that we um our family members were um very very helpful um my aunts and and uncles my dad everybody just came together and we were just so blessed for them to help us out um, we did these little ribbons we got from Amazon the from Haiti and from Ecuador these were just wedding planners I guess towards the end so that's it for today's video don't forget to share like comment and subscribe as well as do not forget to hit on the notification button so that you can be aware of when my next video will be I think right now I am going to keep it a bit of kind of like wedding chronicles um since i do know that there are some people that they do need a little bit of help just how i did so i wish you guys a great wedding planning experience as well as a great wedding experience i hope that this helped you guys out um and i can't wait to see you guys in the next video bye congratulations once again ciao